have I got? White bass. White bass. Look at that big old white. Wow, that's a big dude right there. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are uh, talking about getting out of the wind today. We've got 40 mile an hour wind gusts today. We are in the middle of the windy season of the year. So we're talking about some baits that you can catch fish in the wind. We started off throwing a frog early this morning. And right now, I've switched over and I'm throwing a lipless rattle and crank bait. It's got a lot of BBs in it, makes a lot of noise. It's a great bait to throw in the wind because it's got a lot of weight. It's a heavy bait, which you want, and it makes a lot of noise coming through the waves and the churned up water. That was a white bass right there fishing Amon Carter today. Fish small lakes, get protected, have a good time catching them in the wind anyway. Right now, here's Cajun Phil and Kevin with your Cajun Bites. Hi friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here for your Fox Sports Louisiana Outdoor Saltwater Report. Tell you what, had a group of guys in today, caught a lot of big redfish under the birds in the middle of the lake, seems to be the key there. They're chasing shrimp, got a lot of shrimp coming in. There's also some good trout action early in the morning, late in the evening, top water, shallow water over the reefs or a good sandy bottom. Also a few birds working on trout. Soft plastic, saltwater assassin seems to be the key there with a quarter, eighth ounce jig head for both your reds and your trout. Like I said, Calcasieu Lake's picking up. We're starting to get into that uh, late spring, early summer pattern. Lots of great saltwater action going on. Hey, what, right now I'm gonna turn it over to old Cajun Field and he's gonna tell you what's going on on the freshwater scene. Dad, take it away. Let's talk bass fishing, you know. Calcasieu River's a place that's really turned on right now. The water isn't really pretty, but oddly enough, Every Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon, they have what they call the afternoon dog fights. They've been bringing in some pretty nice bass, three to five pounds, which is pretty uncommon for the Calcasieu River. They catch most of them on spinnerbaits and on plastics. Over on the Sabine River, the northern part of the Sabine River, the water is pretty because it's coming out of Toledo Bend. They're catching bass, brim, and white perch. The bass there seem to be doing better on small crankbaits, buzzbaits, and spinnerbaits. On the south end of Sabine Lake, what are they doing? They're catching speckled trout and redfish along with a few bass mix. So it's pretty good fishing right now, both the Calcasieu River and the Sabine River. And you can see what's happening there on Calcasieu Lake. This week on Barry's Real Fishing, it's big bass time. Here is some vintage fishing footage from a fantastic trip to the Arizona desert featuring a double digit bass. Welcome to Arizona to a beautiful lake about a half hour northeast of metropolitan Phoenix, Arizona, called Saguaro Lake. Now the chain of lakes starts where? It starts up at Roosevelt Lake, and it gets the Salt and the Tonto River. And right there's our best lake, probably a uh, bass lake overall. It goes down into Apache Lake, and then Canyon, and then into here in the Saguaro. Now this one sort of is a catch-all for all the lakes. It's got walleye, it's got every kind of fish that's really? from all our lakes. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. Uh, there we go. That's a beautiful fish right here on a sheer rock wall. You can see behind us here, that thing goes up there 100 feet or so. How deep is the water here? I'd say about 45, 50 feet. Good grief. So that's, that's your next lesson on clear water fishing is uh, don't be afraid to throw out over open water because in this clear water, fish will suspend and you can catch them by either ripping a big spinnerbait over the top of their heads and they'll come up and get it, or a jerkbait. Got him? Yeah. Big one, big fish right here. I got the trolling motor. Here he comes. Look at that. Let me help. Let me help you lift it. Oh, that's a giant! Golly! <laughs> Look what you did! That was a pretty good one. That's oh, what we're looking for. Man, I'd high five you right there. Yeah. But look at that. Mercy! Look at that giant. How big is it, John? I'd say you'd have to go 10 pounds on one. You two. bet. That's an easy 10 pounder. That's incredible, folks. Stay with us. Brian Hughes has the latest Texas freshwater fishing report, and Bill Olson gives us a saltwater update from the Texas Gulf Coast. Also, don't forget that the State of Texas Anglers Rodeo gets started in a few weeks with over $1 million in prizes offered. You must be a member of CCA to participate. 
So visit startournament.org to find out all the information needed to get involved. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. By Navionics, we start where the road ends. By Whataburger, just like you like it. And by Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. <laughs>